Five on four, Randolph finds Cooper underneath for the layup. I mean, protect the rock and share it. Cooper from downtown. UNLV transfer. Cooper. Good little Humphrey Bogart imitation. Nice look. Three, but they have zero offensive rebounds. And Alabama, we're right in this ball game. All the mistakes we've made, we've got a chance. On the two on one. Bail off the kick out. Passed up a good shot for a better one to Cooper. Why not? Alabama. Oh, nice back, back door. Door. Back. Wait. Lead with the three. Cyclones have gone cold, not executing as sharply as they did in the first half. Cooper didn't hesitate that time and knocked down the three. Cooper. Leadership hey. ability stepping in, in a tough situation. Brad told us earlier it's been a 22 year relationship. Miami's loss of Angel Rodriguez will have out the Crimson Tide. We've lost Ricky Tarrant and Shannon Hale, two of their top four scores. They get beat by 20, or it can go the other way. You play for that country. Normally, what that means is you say they used to playing on the perimeter, guy made the offensive rebound put back, but not necessarily their go to back to back. Switch. And, and now, if you see the, the ability to penetrate and get into the paint, inside Cooper with the left. And you have a guy who started a lot of games and is very experienced. Cooper strong in Madison Square Garden, but has never coached there. Nice take by Cooper. They're still hopeful that Angel Rodriguez will be able to be healthy enough to play in that final game. 35, 40% of the time themselves. Cooper knocked down a three. That's his fourth defensive rotation. About the first time the ball get knocked out of bounds in about 15 seconds if they know what's going on. It's because Alabama is officially the road team here, even though they're playing on the home floor. Inadvertently tricks. Wreck the box oh, on well. Come on. Of course, the big question there is who can, who can maybe take down Utah? Or can anybody? and in doing so, the, the quality of their shot has diminished a little bit. They could waste every 20, every 30-second shot clock from here on out and not score again, and they're going to win the game more than likely. And then Cooper does that with four on the shot clock. That's got to be your game plan when you play Tennessee defensively, right, is get the ball out of Josh Richardson's hands and make someone else play. Being very patient, letting the game come to him. Cooper to start over there. The first four games of the season. Cooper. Nice little show and go. Taylor inside. And they almost turn over the balls. And they finally do. A three on one. Randolph inside. And Norris with a rebound. Cooper again. The floater knocks. Down. Aaron again from downtown. And a nice follow by Cooper. Failed to block him out. A little bit more assertive at the offensive end. What does that look like? Or what would it look like against a tight zone defense in the half court like this? Still on Tyndall's bench. Or will it be Cooper? A quiet stone. Cooper. He's been the guy. The big dog. You mentioned working for John Calipari. Third all time meeting between these two. Blew it down the floor. Nice transition basket off of the miss from Jimmy Taylor inside. Okay. Into their half court offense. A little action in the end. One opportunity. That's Rodney Cooper. I'm pushing the ball in transition every trip, putting pressure on the defense. Two on two, Coleman directing traffic under control, but misses the layup. 
Taylor now with 10 points this evening. Inside Cooper with the left hand and the end one opportunity once again. Quickness to collapse the defense and find the open perimeter shooter. And again, the drive. Baseline jumper, that's about the best look they had. A lot of indecision right now. Florida's defense is playing well. I don't mean to say that that's not part of it. Coleman to kick out again. They move it to Cooper for three. That'll help the car. This continues. I'll go back to your Talladega comment and start talking about NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> and a contested jumper on the outside, just kind of thrown up there by Robinson with the and trying to get it out of traffic. Does in the corner. Three. Go. Ten on the shot clock. Cooper gives it back to Kessler's underneath. It's Dorian Finney-Smith, the second defender, that swatted it out of there. Cooper found a little lane off the window. Porter's down a little to attack, trying to get something easy without their defense getting set up to pressure. As Cooper does. Ignites him. The energy level and focus leads over to the defensive side of the floor. Two big dunks. Cooper. What a difference. He's a one man scoring machine right now for Alabama. For Alabama and all of it pretty much coming off the fingertips of Rodney Cooper. That's three possessions in a row that they have held Arkansas to shot. Building to dictate the flow of that game, it has to be a defensive game. They have to be team rebounding philosophies for Frank Martin. Cooper rattles it in for Vanderbilt, who's been on a 7 2 run, and that is a pretty take by Rodney Cooper. As we've talked about how improved it is this year, you know, Alabama, great job of recognizing that zone, knocking it down, and then Cooper with a steal of the finish. Small walk through, and then immediately you're back out here. You see the fatigue in Vanderbilt. Cooper. Cut off that Alabama penetration. Early part of the game, Obasahan was just blowing by people. But they get it back. Nice pass. Cooper. Making a hard trip up the floor. Nice pass. Blocked by Reed. Here's the freshman Pope. One and done with them. They're not giving you many second shot opportunities. Coleman got in the lane, lost it. Here's Cooper with the left hand. Yes. Good defensive teams, Rich, are really unselfish. Abasaha, three. Short. Big offensive board by Cooper. Bowers gambled and lost. Cooper. Yes. 